Only on six, pioneering New Orleans sportscaster Ro Brown is getting his well-deserved flowers. The longtime WDSU sports anchor will be inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame over the weekend. And Travers, you know, such a humble man. You already know he's, that. He's the greatest. He, I was an intern when he was here. Oh, I know. And he said he didn't want to take responsibility for the Mackles, but he loves your parents. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what he said. He, you know, when Ro and I talked the other day, Travers, he made it very clear. This honor isn't about him. He says it's about all of you at home who supported him, but really the people in his life who helped him get this far. Good evening, I'm Ro Brown and welcome to what was a long time coming, the 87 Saints. The soothing voice, the bright, constant smile, an amazing personality. That's Ro Brown, truly one of a kind, a television giant who paved the way for many in New Orleans. Tulane, LSU, UNO all in action tomorrow. Dillard will host Xavier tomorrow night as well. Brown became WDSU sports director in 1978, the first black sports anchor and reporter in New Orleans, a staple in the Crescent City. Through his many years of reporting, Brown said he never really thought about the fact he made history. It really didn't cross my mind until you kept running into people, especially elderly African-American people, that I did not know would walk up to you, put their arms around you and tell you how proud they were of you. He just wanted to do his job and do it well. You know, in any success story, there are highs and lows. That's life. It's humbling. Uh, I look at it as what you're supposed to do. It, uh, you know, I guess I was raised by people who, you know, told you that you had to be a service to somebody, a bodies, whatever you did. And uh, that including your job, what you did every day. I'll have a report on Born in the Lower Ninth Ward, Brown credits his parents, Peter and Thelma Brown, along with his village, for putting him on the right path to begin his journey. People took care of me, you know, and people made sure that if I couldn't get to this particular game, there were people who, you know, if my dad or my mom couldn't take me, they took me because they knew that I wanted to go and they knew that I wanted to experience things. And when it was finally time for the New Orleans native to shine, his WDSU family took him in. You know, we talked to former LSU Tiger Henry Thomas via satellite today. He was an intern at the station while in college at Loyola University. And after graduating, he left for a year to work in Lake Charles. Then he came back home, where his heart was, at WDSU. Brown said he always felt welcomed. I got to be around people who were there from day one. You know, I actually worked with people who were there the day the thing signed on in December of 1948. And I got to work with those people and know those people, on-camera people and off-camera people at Fogelman Arena. Brown covered sports for nearly 20 years at WDSU, and the last three of his career, he switched to news, becoming the first education reporter in New Orleans. All right, I know what you're thinking. Four to 5,000 kids, out of class, beautiful day, Zephyr Field. Why aren't they in class preparing for LEAP? So as he looks back on his decorated career, Brown says he's reminded why he started. That makes you realize that, you know, that it ain't about me. <laughs> you know, to them, this was a big deal. And it let you know that you had to do it the best you could every day, you know, for those people. Such an honor to tell his story. We are going to continue to give Ro Brown his flowers coming up tomorrow here only on six. Sports anchor Fletcher Mackle talks to Ro about his most memorable moments covering, covering sports and why it means so much to him. We're so proud of you, Ro. Margaret.